March 3rd at a target of like 25 minute drive from where I live pretty far but I think it was worth it because look at this I have not seen this before this is pretty interesting I think they're gonna discontinue the one that had cars one McQueen and go on with this one but look at this also finally found that mini super speed mater and they don't have the other ones unfortunately but they have that new style of packaging this is the old one they were arranged like that and now they're arranged like a little pyramid so that's pretty cool uh i did look through the two packs already the notable ones oh this isn't <laughs> this one's trending on tiktok right now so it's probably gonna be hard to find her soon maddie mcgear this one is semi-new two re-releases re-releases as well i think this is an old one there's another one of that mcqueen and mater taco and patty i think this one's a new one as well harvey and barry yeah i think that's all the new ones singles they have the road trip mater which is the same one in this pack which is kind of disappointing but hey tow hook at least they don't mention that the tow hook works though which is kind of weird but yeah it's awesome to at least have these two scores right here target number two of the day and i found the snot rod pack i also have the cruising mcqueen one but i think i've seen this one before already but yeah pretty cool same day super speed meter at one target snot rod at the next first impressions of florida it's a disaster here and it's hot i want to go home hello everyone we are officially in orlando i almost said california <laughs> and it's been three years since the <clears throat> i can't say the word i think yeah. i might get demonetized if i say it but the <clears throat> And we finally have a trip set for Florida. So today we're going to Epcot, tomorrow Hollywood Studios, and then the final day Magic Kingdom. Magic. And then the last day after that will be, I believe, the Daytona uh, track or whatever it's called. But anyways, follow me along as we basically go through Disney World for the very first time. So this is our hotel, one of the hotels. The other hotel, well, it's a surprise, but this is one of the hotels that we're staying at that's very disney themed oh yeah look i i love that mickey banner in the background that that just looks ooh, so incredible but anyways let's go eat breakfast and i'll catch you guys at the park finally made it through the entrance into epcot looks absolutely beautiful i really like how all of this looks it's my first time so all of this is new to me I don't even know where to start or where to go, but time to enjoy the day. I think that's what it does. But this is literally like Radiator Springs Racers. I'm pretty excited. This is the test track gift shop when you exit the ride and unironically they sell, well, Disney car stuff. This is one of the stores and they have a bunch of Marvel stuff. I didn't expect them to have anything uh, Marvel related, but they have a whole store.
What's your question, Allie? What's your favorite activity? My favorite activity? Well, that's a tough one. Let's see, what do we do? We sleep, eat, surf. Me too. Wait, that's it. <laughs> so I would say the surfing part, dude. <laughs> I didn't know they had like a little model railroad here at Epcot. They just need the Thomas the Tank Engine going there. We are finally getting to ride Guardians of the Galaxy. Finally made it to Guardians after a long day at Epcot. I don't think I can record, so I'll just let you know my thoughts once the ride's over. Oh my goodness, that was like the best ride ever. If you have visited our wonders of Sandal Kaliza, then you know. Undoubtedly, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind is the best ride ever. It 100% deserves to be at California Adventure or Disneyland, but I absolutely loved it. I had never seen a single video on that ride, so I had no idea what I was going to get myself into. But I, I'm glad I never saw a single piece of content to it because I loved it. It was 10 out of 10, beautiful. And the, the song they put was, uh, what was the song? Uh, I'm going to get you, oh. get you, get you, get you. One way or another. And then we're chasing the, it's, the, oh, so the song dope. is so good. So now we're going to go to Creation Shop. And this store is absolutely massive. I'm tired, man. My feet are killing me. But I'm still buying stuff. Legs absolutely killing me, but that wraps up day one at Epcot. And I got some pretty cool stuff. I didn't really expect to buy much on this trip, so it's mainly just small stuff. I did forget to pick up those um, Cars diecasts that I wanted, but those could always just be picked up through Shop Disney's website or at Disney Springs when I go later this week. But I really like the stuff I got, mainly just souvenirs. But dude, I got so lucky. I was these were checkout items and i was there for like a half an hour just going back through bag feeling to see if i could get the three characters that i, I wanted and i opened them up and <laughs> i have dirty luck man i got all three of them and i bought a little mickey to go with this little backpack i have the life-size version of this one so i was like you know what let's get a mini replica some chocolates some snacks for the plane when we do leave later this week which is like three or five days away from now some souvenir pins, awesome. Some Pandora charms. We got like a little Disney train, Walt and Mickey, and what is that? Cinderella's castle and Tinkerbell. Short sleeve shirt of the 100th anniversary. A spirit jersey from Disney World. Souvenir bag. Scarlet Witch souvenir ears from my Scarlet Witch collection. Collectible Coca-Cola bottles. I mean, I had fun. It was really something else, so the next day is hollywood studios so i'm really excited for mcqueen's racing academy which will be a whole separate video if it doesn't get copyright striked 
But yeah, that's going to wrap up tonight. I will see you guys next time because I am absolutely tired and just ready to hit the hay. Yeah, so earlier in the video, I did mention how me being in the Mexico part of Epcot was moments before disaster. Uh, that's because I fainted. Yeah, <laughs> at Epcot. Or at least I was very close to. So we were getting on the ride there in Mexico, the Tres Caballeros ride. And out of nowhere, after I put the camera down, I felt my feet literally sinking into the ground. And I was like, okay, that's weird. And then I, my whole vision just started going dizzy. And I like the whole ambience around me started getting darker and darker. And I was like, I'm going to faint. And I tell my brother quickly, I'm like panicking. I'm like, I think I'm about to faint. Look up how I can fix this. Because if not... I don't want to be one of those people who dies at Disney. And I know fainting isn't like, you know, dying, but you know, it's like, it's still bad. You know, you don't take fainting lightly, you know? And well, I drank some water that I had in my bag and like, I felt better for a couple seconds, you know, where the problem started was when I got in the ride because it's a boat ride and the motion sickness kicked in with the previous dizzy symptom I had by the time I got out of the ride. I sat down like on the pavement and I just couldn't stand it anymore. And I started feeling my entire life. Look, I've heard people say, oh, I feel my life flash before my eyes. I would always tell people, you're full of shit. That's bullshit. That is such a fake thing. That is such a like a tall tale, fairy tale. That's not that's just not a thing. I am sorry to whoever I told that to because I experienced that that same day at Epcot. I can tell you full on now that your life flashing before your eyes totally does happen and exist. Like my whole life just got put on play and it was just playing key moments of my life while I was like knocked out. And well, my brother took me to the emergency first aid room there at Disney. They put me down. They put a wet towel on my face. They let me rest. The lady's like, we're going to come back in 20 minutes and check on you. My brother said I went out cold for an hour till I woke up again. And they checked my blood pressure, my vitals and everything. The lady's like, you're all good. Everything seems fine. You just need to hydrate more and go eat something. I was like, all right, cool. So then we went to Italy, bought some pizza, ate some, you know, drank some soda as well to get the sugar levels up. And I felt fine right after that. But yeah, um, the weather was just horrible. I, I'm thinking that was a symptom as well. I mean, I'm not used to Florida. I had never been to Florida. So at Epcot in the morning, it was sunny, but kind of humid. And then it would rain for 30 minutes, stop, and then it would get cold, like like 50 degree weather cold with like wind, and then it would stop, and then it would get sunny, and then humid and rainy. It was just a bunch of change of weather that you just couldn't keep up with it. It truly did feel horrible. I feel fine though. I am perfectly fine. I posted it on Instagram when it happened. People saw there. If the people who don't follow me on Instagram are barely hearing this now on YouTube, um, you know, I'm perfectly fine. I'm still talking and alive. But yeah, that's uh, basically what happened at Epcot. All right. It is March 14th, 8 in the morning. I'm going to tar... Whoa. I that's construction going on in Florida. Don't worry. It's not, not the other thing you're probably thinking. Anyways, I'm going to Target before we go to Hollywood Studios this morning uh, to pick up some stuff that we need. Some traps and some mints and some water for the park. But yeah. This target looks really nice, but will they have nice looking stock? Who knows? Let's go see. So this is their car section. Their music is kind of loud, but it's a really small section. I don't think they have anything really. No, there's unfortunately nothing. Well, a bunch of me and Tia packs. And as far as color changes, nothing good either. Oh well, off to Disney Springs. I mean, Hollywood Studios. Finally in Hollywood Studios. No way, bro. Holy I'm so fucking happy, dude. Like, Cars Land is one thing, but I have never been to Toy Story Land. Not worth it. You know, I'm glad to help it.
I liked it, it was awesome. That was such a good ride. I loved it. Anyways, one of my favorite rides. There's a little store here. Oh yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, uh, there no, there's six doors. Those two open. I I'm oh, seeing those three. Oh, they're gonna open. Yeah, there is three. There's six doors. I didn't like it. I liked it personally. It's just cortito, no? It's como de ah, y ya se te quita. Pero este sí es perro. Who's Ramirez? Hello, everybody. After today, you'll be ready to meet it, read it, and defeat it. Exactly. Mayor, boot up the simulator. You got it. What? Oh, oh gotta push a button. <laughs> We have a huge selection of Disney store stuff. Nice to have this shirt. Oh yeah, I remember that. They got my size? I think they do. Yeah. I doubt they would have anything good here, but it doesn't hurt to look. Made her they don't have a single McQueen, because, I mean, McQueen's the main character, he sold out. Each car is 10 bucks, though, kind of uh, expensive. This here wokey motive? I guess so, Goofy, that does sound like a lot of paperwork, but I think Thanks. I Thanks! You'll be right. back in a jiffy to pick you all off! It really doesn't make it easy around here, you guys, but welcome to the cartoon world. Can you all hear me way back in the back? <laughs> welcome aboard, folks! We're ready for a relaxing ride around the park. <laughs>
Uh, Texas. So that concludes Hollywood Studios 2023. I had a blast, probably as much as Epcot, wouldn't you say? Huh? I oh, liked yeah. it. It was, it was really fun. I think my favorite rides would have to be between Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, McQueen's Racing Academy, and Slinky Dog Dash. Those were awesome. And the fan Fantasia show, Fantasmic, Fantasmic, Fantasia, whatever. whatever it's called, Fantasia, Fantasmic, Fantasia, that show was something else dude, that one was really good, anyways, we're going back to the hotel, catching an Uber, I'll see you guys, once I show you guys at the hotel, the scores. Back in the hotel once again, and that was the end of Hollywood Studios, absolutely amazing, I loved it, it was an incredible park, here's everything I got, we got a Star Wars helmet, two plushies from Toy Story Land, along with the Slinky Dog Dash uh, ride replica. This little ham plant. I, I really want to put that on my desk. This Dynaco magnet that goes on your car. These free stickers cast members gave me at Lightning McQueen's Racing Academy. Some pins from Toy Story Land, Star Wars Land as well. Magnet where you can put your uh, souvenir photo. That's pretty much it. I am really excited though for Disney Springs on Thursday because that is where the shopping will really kick in with all the different stuff you'll probably see me get, especially cars related. Because I'll be honest, there isn't much here that's cars related in Disney World, which I think is a huge problem. 
because I met several people today at Disney Hollywood Studios that were talking about cars. Funny enough, I stayed, or not I stayed, I dined in at, at the um, sci-fi theater or dined in, whatever it's called, and you're eating in these like vintage cars and I was like, why doesn't Cars Land have this? Why couldn't this be the dining area instead of Flo's Viet Cafe for as far as the interior, right? But I thought to myself, what's stopping them from making a Cars Land or something much bigger than just McQueen's Racing Academy here in Hollywood Studios? I'm telling you right now, man, like if they just did it, you'd have more guests. Cause if you really want to see Cars Land, you just, I mean, you have to go from Florida all the way to Cali just to see Radiator Springs. I don't know, but that's just my say. I'm not Bob Iger. I can't say if they're ever gonna do something Cars related in the near future for Hollywood Studios or Disney World in general, besides the hotel. But I mean, I met people today who were complimenting me. They were like, whoa, I love your jacket. I love your shirt. I love your lounge fly bag. And you know, then I, they're like, do you have a collection or, um, you know, what else do you collect? And well, of course I tell them about the YouTube stuff and they stay shocked because of all the stuff that I do, right? That was my fit. I was basically Lightning McQueen, Disney bounding unintentionally. I didn't even notice it until people told me. I was like, all right, cool. But yeah, they need some more car stuff here. Absolutely for sure. Because if people are asking for it, and if I'm seeing people with lounge fly bags, there was a bunch of people with the Cozy Co Motel lounge fly McQueen backpack. The one that came out, I want to say last year in the summer. And people, I, I asked them, hey, where'd you get it? Me having it already. They're like, oh, Amazon for 50 bucks on sale. I'm like, over here, bro. I paid like 90 for it when it first came out. I'm like, I'm such an idiot. But anyways, yeah, I'm excited for Disney Springs on Thursday because I'll be able to hopefully find some die cast sets or something that's exclusive here from Disney World that's cars related. But tomorrow, Wednesday, I will be going to Magic Kingdom. So that'll be a completely different monster because that is gonna take forever to walk and get done. Yeah, so today's Tuesday, March 14th. So Wednesday the 15th, I'll be at Magic Kingdom. And then Thursday when I'm at Disney Springs, the hotel I'm gonna be staying at, not this hotel, the hotel I'm gonna be staying at is Art of Animation. Of course, the car suite. I'll do a whole video on that as well, touring the hotel, because I've been wanting to go to that hotel for the longest time ever. So I will go to that hotel, tour it, take pictures, upload them on Instagram, follow me on there, because that's where I'm uploading content like hourly of what I'm up to and what I'm doing. And Sunday I was supposed to arrive and I didn't arrive till Monday at like two in the morning when I should, should have been there on Sunday at 8 p.m. at night. That's how big my delay was. I mean, United, I'm calling them out. I don't care, bro. United, horrible service, at least for me in the plane. I, I got nothing done with them. It was delay after delay after delay since the moment I got out of McAllen. I don't think I'm gonna ever fly with them again. Nine in the morning. What do we choose, monorail or the ferry? What's cooler? What's easier? I think the monorail, cause look, the ferry's not even there. So I guess it's the monorail. It is 7 p.m. sunset and people are already lining up for the fireworks. It is pretty insane. I don't know how stuff moves around here, so everything's pretty much new. But the amount of people here is absolutely insane. Honestly, I had more fun at Epcot and at uh, Hollywood Studios more than at here. 
Magic Kingdom, but the castle is gorgeous. So yeah, I will see you guys once the fireworks begin. So that right there guys was officially the end of Magic Kingdom. Uh, I had fun. Did you have fun? Uh, uh, I'd say like a 6 out of 10. I preferred Epcot and Mag uh, Hollywood Studios for sure. But man, my legs are trembling so that's why the camera's trembling. But yeah, we're done for the day. So good night. We are at the Daytona 500 to get a tour of the entire stadium. So let's get to it. Bill France envisioned decades ago. Welcome to the World Center of Racing. There's no minimum speed about going around the track at this angle. What happens if you go below 70 miles an hour? Gravity's going to pull you to the left. So now look to your right, folks. Now you're looking at 101,500 individual seats. All seats are individual, or you have a seat back, an armrest, and a cup holder. Now, there's a tradition about coming to a race in Daytona. Here at Daytona, you can BYOB, baby. That's right. Bring your own beer. Wait a minute. What? Yeah. Now, there is a size restriction on that ice chest. It cannot be larger than 14 by 14 by 14 inch soft-sided ice chest. But that's okay. That little ice chest will hold 18 cans of your favorite beer. If you don't drink, 22 cans of your favorite soft drink. Alrighty, now you can look straight ahead and see the start-finish line and how that is angled. It's hella steep to get up. Watch climbing. Dad, you can't do it from when you miss the little Michael Jackson. <laughs> Dude, this is awesome. Now the building on the right, like I said, is the original Victory Lane. The black glass building is the one that was built in 2004. Now the reason we have two is because in August of 2004, we had what we call the Thursday Hurricane. Three weeks in a row, suites are located. Out of the top of that building where the railing is, that's like an 18-story building, that's where your spotters stand. Now they're the ones on each of the team of the drivers telling him what to do, when to do it, to try to help them win that race. The one right above the start-finish line, where the black and white seats are, the, uh, the suite, and of course the sponsor stand. Now we're going to go to the fourth entrance sponsored by Toyota, and Toyota does sponsor a lot of drivers in NASCAR. You're going to see replicas 
of those new generation cars that just started racing last year. Back in 1984, Ronald Reagan, our president at the time, was flying in on Air Force One. He was going to do the gentleman start your engine. Well, Air Force One was late. How the heck? Ah, this is Daytona Beach, Sally, home of the greatest racers ever. Um, Mr. McQueen, I have a question. What is your question, Cruz? How, uh, how did they race here? It's just water and sand. Well, Cruz, obviously before they raced here, there wasn't any buildings or anything like that. Like now, it was all empty and just a bunch of sand. Hey, look, a seagull. What? I think they left. <laughs> they left. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the Target here in Daytona, Florida. It is March 16th, Thursday, here at the first Target. Well, the only Target we're going to come to here in Daytona. We're going to go to a Walmart here in Daytona, and then the rest of the stores will be back in Orlando. We just came for the Daytona 500 tour, but looking at their stock, uh, nothing good. No, nothing really. The only notable thing I could really say that's like even worthy of picking up is this. And even then, that's only because it's trending on TikTok. But yeah, there is nothing. How sad. Now at Walmart. Let's see. Kind of a weird selection. What am, what am I looking at here? There's like stuff all over the place. Florida 500 race. Those are all the same. I'm assuming it's this one. It's kind of weird seeing how they have older stock here. Like the color changes, the King, Artist Ramon. I'm looking for that President Mater. It would make my day if I found them. Wow. I don't think I'm going to find them though. Pretty much impossible at this point. This one's a little bit harder to find. This little uh, taxi. Mm, just a bunch of Ramones, Miles Morales. I mean, Miles Axelrod, Miles Morales, <laughs> and uh, those two packs. Nothing much, unfortunately. Yeah, nothing good. Oh well, let's head back to uh, Orlando. There's more up there, but I don't think they even have. The one I'm looking for. There's a whole box up there too. Well, this is something you don't see every day. Uh, the perks of having a tall brother, I guess. <laughs> There's a whole box of just color changers overstock. These are not gonna sell. Anyone need some of these? <laughs> Look at that. These are like semi-old, semi-new-ish, not really. Yeah. Oh well. Oops. Jeez, that is a huge box. And there's more overstock up there, but those are all the same multi-packs. Oh well. We are here at the Florida Mall. We are going to ride makers to build our very own Disney cars. So follow me so we can build them. Take one with the orange sticker and then one with the orange and blue sticker. So anything from here to here, okay? Okay. Some of these. White wall front. Okay, I'll do these for McQueen. Okay. If these, the small ones are gonna work with the front. Okay. So this is gonna be a thing for both of us. 
So go ahead and do the four screws here. Make sure the drill goes all the way down before you press the button, okay? Okay. Oh, oh. Make sure it goes all the way down, yep. It's like build a bear with cars. Yep. <laughs> so now you get to put your rims into your tires. All right. This was a race I would have lost already. You know what? That's okay. I didn't time this time, so <laughs> I'm not going to time check you. Go ahead and put them on. They just connect like Legos. <gasps> they do. Mm -hmm. uh, that's so cool. It is so cool. So um, I'm going to open it just in case, and we're going to just put in the test batteries so you guys can see the part. In okay. 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 And now you get to move your car. Yeah. Let's do yours now. So same thing. Okay. So I'm going to start whenever you're ready. Just make sure you have one hand on the car, okay? Yeah, like, oh, hold oh, it down oh, from okay. there. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Push all the way down. Okay. Other one. This one's ready. There you go. All right. Back side. Move. Wait, it's not on the on the actual piece. On the actual stud. Oh, hold on. Put it back for you. I'll leave you guys alone for two seconds. <laughs> okay. So now you can continue. Go ahead, do that one. Perfect. Do that one. Okay. Cool. Now go ahead with your friends. Right Pop them in. Yes, yeah. there you go. Push. All the way? All the way. Is that it? No, more. There you go. Okay. Clean. Come on. I think I got all the accessories I need, which is basically the whole store. Alrighty, that is our car. I think it looks pretty sick. That looks incredible. So guys, we finished building our ride makers. That was some of the most fun. A huge shout out goes out to the employees there. They were super friendly and helpful and tolerating me spending over 250 bucks there. But yeah, that was incredible. We are at Target. I finally came back. Is that a, whose voice is that that I hear? It sounds familiar. Oh, it's only just the greatest goat of all time. Danica hey, Blue 43. Up, it's Danica Blue in case you haven't recognized my face. <laughs> so surprise, surprise, he lives here in Florida and well we met up so it's kind of like um not a meet and greet it's just a hangout really just two friends hanging out but yeah we're gonna see what stock they have here in uh florida are we expecting much mm, no keeping the expectations low but you know that's the move that's the move this target has a weird setup i just don't know where they have their cars that's all the girl stuff for real. It's probably somewhere over here. Yeah, there it is. Boo, what the hell? Yeah, it is a small section. Boo hoo. <sighs> it's not even worth going through. I, I can just tell what they have. Yeah, I, got, I get that a lot. I don't even bother going through them nowadays. Yeah, this. What, we got the short. Well, what, what happened here? Wait, this. Okay, what, why'd you go through all that effort just to not take any of them? Like, at least, <laughs> you're gonna go through all that effort, you gotta take something. For real, bro. Like, just don't leave it there. In the Funko Pops? Yes. Oh. They have the other ones too. From No Way Home? Yeah. There's... Uh, there's nothing good. I think that was a bad day at the office. When Jambalaya Chimichanga is the only, like, notable one on the page. Honestly. You know, it's bad when this is making me go happy. What if it comes to For real. Mattel, what are you doing, bro? 
right here. <sighs> okay. Hot Wheels. And where are the cars? Don't tell me they don't even have a section. Oh, here we go. Anything you need? Yeah, I don't have this guy. <laughs> actually. Yeah, you found yeah, something. You, you actually. You actually <laughs> picked a good target. Or Walmart. Yeah, yeah. I just found Greebles like two days ago. Now I see two more near us. They don't have that new Rocha McQueen and Mater. Yeah, that sucks. I was gonna say you could have gotten those here. Yeah, honestly, I, I refuse to buy them online because I'm like surely eventually like, I'm gonna see them. It's only a matter of time. Right? Oh, they have the under road pack too. Marshalls. Holy crap. Not a single color changer though. And they just have the the haulers just randomly over here. Yeah, like I'm gonna know that. Oh, there's the tuners five pack. Tuners five pack, cars two Mac. Eh. Cars two Mac. Yeah. Oh, it's this. This is that overstock. Uh, you grab it. I'm not tall enough. Look, Jacob, just a bunch of waste. At least Ramon isn't held hostage like the other pack. You haven't like you haven't like gone back to the hotel at nighttime like at all yet. No. Well, coming this way out, yes, but we've never seen the sign. If that makes sense. It is the final day of our vacation and we're at Disney Springs. Honestly, Disney Springs is more like a freaking outlet, bro. This place is huge. But to end the vacation, we're going to World of Disney to get some final souvenirs and possibly the Lego store as well. So let's see what we find. This is their cars area, pretty big. But I'm looking for one thing and one thing only. Oh, this is a super speed mater one. So day two at Disney Springs and they stocked on Ivy. Let's see if they have the Lightning McQueen one. They got the Super Speed Mater. I don't think they have McQueen. That is pretty cool to see though. Their die cast selection is not that bad either. I'm just going to come out and say this right now. That trip was a total disaster as far as the experience with the freaking airline. It was absolutely horrible. We're finally back. We were supposed to be back on Friday, like around 5 or 6 in the morning. It's Saturday, 2 in the afternoon, barely back. And I'm going to call it out and say this. Do not fly with United Airlines. Don't. They suck. Look where I ended up. Not only that, they gave me shit about every time I was going to fly. They're like, sorry, delay, sorry, delay. Oh, rebooking. We had to stay in the Florida airport for like two hour delay. And then in Harlem, like, you know what? Let me give you the whole breakdown. It started the day we left on Sunday. We went to the Harlingen airport, which is not my local airport because my local one is McAllen. So it's an hour drive to Harlingen. We get there, two hour delay. That should have been the first sign. Well, it was the first sign. I was like, oh, Great. A delay. And then they finally board us, but we get to Houston late. No problem. We finally get to Florida. By the time the Uber and everything, you know, gets settled, they pick us up, take us to the hotel. Guess what time it is? Two in the freaking morning. When we were supposed to be there at the hotel, at Disney Springs, chilling and eating dinner at 8 p.m. Hmm? Now, coming back. 
we were supposed to come back on Friday, right? Like I said just a couple seconds ago. No. So they wanted us to be on the, on the plane at 5 in the morning. I said, I can't. I'm way too tired. I'm exhausted. I don't think I'm going to make it. Can I change the flight? They're like, yes, you can change the flight. But for as a, like for us to count you as like a priority, like that you're going to be on the next flight for sure to McAllen, it's going to cost you 400 bucks. I said, I don't care. Sure. Whatever. Let's do it. I'm just, I can't make it at 5 in the morning. I'm way too tired. Because I fell asleep the night before at 2 in the morning. So you're telling me I'm just going to sleep 3, 4, 3 hours? No, bro. I was going to kill myself, basically. I wasn't going to be able to survive. So, you know, flight at 7 in the afternoon, you know, 7 comes around. That's the time that they booked me for the next flight. We got there an hour and 30 minutes before. So it's like 5.30, 5.30-ish, right? And they refused to board us. Why? Because of all the stuff we had. So we had these giant two Disney bags. Sorry for the noise. They're doing yard work outside. But these giant Disney bags, let me just show you. These right here, you probably recognize them, those Disney park bags. We had two big ones, right? They refused to board us because we had those bags and because we didn't check them in or whatever, didn't through the mobile app, blah, 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 all that, all that bullshit. And I'm like, ma'am, I need to get on this flight. Like I have to do work. I have, you know, school. I have, you know, to do my taxes. I have an appointment. Like I start giving her a bunch of stuff. That I, uh, like, I can't just put my life to the side. I had to get back Friday. I had to be back home here in McAllen. She goes, sorry, nothing I can do for you. And I'm like, can I speak with someone else? She goes, sure, right here next to me. Bro, the entire staff of people who worked there were just looking at me and my brother the entire time. And they all refused to help us. They were like, no, sorry, we, we can't help you. That, that's, that, there's nothing we can do for you. Should have been here earlier. And I'm like, how early did you expect me to be here? And they're like, at least 1 p.m. I'm like, I am not waiting at the airport for seven fucking hours, dude. I'm not. No, I'm not doing that. And they're like, the least we can do for you is put you on the 8 p.m. flight. I was like, okay, that's just an hour away. Because I was going to get on at 7 and I'm going to get on at 8. That's not bad. But she goes, it's standby. And I was like, what does that mean? She's like, it means you're not a guaranteed that you're going to be on that flight. And I'm like, is there something else? She's like, yeah, I have 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. I was like, I can't sleep at the fucking airport airport in florida dude like i don't know this place i don't know this place i'm not gonna stay here she goes make a choice and i was like ma'am we're kids we can't stay here we don't know this place we don't know what's gonna happen to us she's like call up someone maybe someone can pick you up i'm like i live in texas texas is here florida's over here no one's gonna do an 18 hour drive right now and then she's like sorry not my problem oh my dude let me tell you this dude i've had bad experiences at the airport this isn't the first one but this one just took the cake this one was the worst one ever. The first one was in Mexico, how they lost my luggage. They took my luggage here too. They took my suitcases because they were like, oh, you're going to take the Disney bags up on the carry-on with you. And then the carry-on bags that you have that are supposed to go on the top with you, those are going to go in the bottom. So they took those, right? Free of charge, whatever. All that bullshit. And I was like, I don't want to leave them there. I'm not going to leave them there. I was like, I know you guys are going to lose them. You guys are irresponsible like that. I'm sorry. She goes, no, 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 no whatever. We have our suitcases. Thank God, because I thought we weren't going to make it with them. <sighs> so, at least we're here. I mean, it took long enough, right? But, boy, oh boy, what, are, what I would do to have planned this trip better, dude. Partially, I feel at fault as well. Because I was trying to look for the cheapest tickets. And, well, I ended up spending over $7,000. Yeah. I am in severe depth, so please watch every video I'm coming out with from the trip so I can try to at least make some of the money back from this trip that I invested in for you guys. So yeah, that's pretty much going to call it a day, um, a week, a vacation. <laughs> I do not want to go out. I am staying in my house till I feel mentally stable again because I feel so unstable right now, dude. Like My anxiety just went through the roof when the lady said, we're not putting you on the flight. Oh, and she also said, we gave your seat to someone else. I was like, so I paid $400 for nothing. Because I told you guys I was the priority and you gave my seat to some other bozo. What a waste of money. And, oh, and not only that, the hotel we stayed at on campus at the airport was $370. Fuck, dude, like, come on. But it's just, it's crazy because the good of this trip 
almost outweighs the bad, but at the same time, the bad wants to outweigh the good. I, and I just don't know, like, what to think of this trip. Did I like it? Did I not like it? I'm going to say I did like it because the parks was awesome. Everyone at, at Disney treated me so nicely. It's just United that really just ruined it for me. I'm going to close that door. So much yard work going on. But yeah, that's pretty much going to end it for my part. I, I just, man, I need a rest, man. I need a rest. It's going to take a while to pump out all the videos because I got to edit and post on Instagram, do all that thing. But anyways, if you ever go to Florida, don't fly with United. Go with someone else. I'm going with Delta next time, personally. Hopefully, they're better. If they're not, or who do you guys fly with? Please tell me who you've flown with, who has given you excellent service. Recommend airlines. That's what we're doing for this video. Just drop good airlines in the comments below. Tell me, PCB, this is a good airline. Fly with them next time. This, this, is this. They did this, this, and this for me, and they were awesome. Let's do that. Because I... I clearly don't know how to fly. I clearly don't. But everyone at the Disney Resort, thank you for your service. Everyone in Florida, in Orlando in general, it's Orlando itself that treated me so well. Like, I wish I could live there. It was so peaceful. I loved it. All the people you meet. I met so many people. I met so many friends and people who like cars as well. There was like a group of girls who were like, oh my gosh, you have a Lightning McQueen bag. You have a, you have a car shirt. Without even trying. Lightning McGriz over here, bro. I, damn right I'm Lightning McQueen's biggest fan. And then I show them my room and they're like, Oh my gosh, we love your room. Like, oh my gosh, that's crazy. And I'm just like, yeah, bro. It's my room, no big deal. <laughs> All right, Walmart a week later. Let's see what we find. I'm just going to put my coffee down. I think I might find it. I see. <gasps> yes, there he is, ladies and gentlemen. President Mater. Thank God for that. And there's, there's two of them. Yeah, there's, oh wow, and it's changed color form too. I think there might be a third one, no? There's a bunch of Doug Crankles, but only two meters, wow. That is the find of the day for sure. I have been looking for this guy for a month. Finally found it, oh, thank goodness. W day, what's today again? Sunday, March 20th. Not bad at all, not bad. And they also got the ghost car as well, Diana. March 20th, about to be 9 p.m. And I found the Chick Hicks hauler re-release from Vietnam. Uh, I think I might pick it up only because my China one isn't in the best condition. So that's a pretty interesting score. I like how they've, they've been doing these older haulers again. March 23rd, my birthday here at Ross this morning. It is insane the discount that they have on this set. I did not expect to see this. And they have three of them. That is insane. They have this as well. Wow, for 25 bucks. I mean, Ross is getting good again. I used to hunt at Ross all the time. Jeez, that is so tempting for 17 bucks. Guys, check your local Ross, because I mean, you cannot beat that price. You really can't. Yeah, so too. you work in retail, so you know how to dismantle these pallets and everything. Yeah, sure. And, well, you took out the box and... Okay, what about this one? This one's metal too. What does that one say? Oh, it doesn't say... When... Oh, Matchbox cars. See, like, this one says cars characters. You open oh. it up and... Hey, look, it's the ball set car, William. The one you showed me on TikTok. Oh, well, theme cars. This is also... Ew, cars. what is that? <laughs> 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 Which one? Damn, theme cars. Hear me out, yo. I don't know if it's... Um... <laughs> no way. Spy guy. Dude, I also have a trip out. Dude, this one also... Hello, viewers. Can you watch through this? I can't even open it. <laughs> Anyways, it is March 25th, 10 p.m. Usually, we come to this Walmart when it's nighttime, and that's when they're restocking. I remember last time you guys gave me shit for... Yeah, I remember. This is a wider smile. That's the only difference. Actually, I don't get why people like they still make the choice and with little ass differences. Like, what's the point? <laughs> idiots like him. And eat idiots it up. like me buy them. Idiots like him eat it up. <laughs> You're like <laughs> as clear as day. Anyways, Pistin Co Productions signing out, and I'll see you guys next time.